We're going to begin at the southern border where the end of a pandemic era policy is causing fear that there will be a new humanitarian crisis along that border. That policy, Title 42, had allowed authorities to swiftly expel migrants on the grounds of public health due to the coronavirus. That measure expired, however, overnight, raising concerns that there will be a new wave of border crossings. And in fact, it's estimated there are tens of thousands of potential asylum seekers in Mexico right now waiting to enter the U.S. Manuel, Bo Manuel Bohorquez is along the border for us. He's in El Paso, Texas. That's where we find him, where it is still dark. Manny, good morning. Good morning. The city of El Paso is beefing up its police presence and asking residents to remain vigilant. On some days, Border Patrol has apprehended up to 10,000 migrants, and the chief says that number could go up. At points all across the southern U.S. border, migrant men, women, and children can be seen arriving as Title 42 expires. Bring it this way. About 400 have camped near the border in El Paso, Texas, where National Guard members erected barbed wire. Migrants there were given a choice, return to Mexico or board buses to processing centers. But we're going to prevent any further migrants from joining the group that's already here. In San Isidro, California, the busiest port of entry in the U.S., hundreds of people, including toddlers, braved rain and heat using blankets. No puedo estar ahí, mi país. Ishlin Roman says she fled Peru with her two sons to escape domestic abuse and government instability. Pasar, pasar con mis hijos y estar bien. Border Patrol estimates about 60,000 migrants are waiting in northern Mexico, while some 25,000 sit in holding facilities where resources are severely limited. There's a host of tools at our disposal. Border Patrol Chief Raul Ortiz says authorities will now lean on protocols outlined by the decades-old Title VIII, under which migrants can be deported from the United States back to their home countries and given a five-year ban on re-entry unless they express fear of returning and pass an interview. What's your biggest concern going forward? Making sure that our agents are safe out there, making sure those communities are safe, and making sure that you know we respond to those migrants uh, that are in distress. This is an invasion, and they want the numbers to go up. In Washington, Republicans are efforting last-minute legislation, with the House passing a border security bill yesterday. But the Democratic Senate majority calls it dead on arrival. The White House produced no plan, missed the deadline, and bumbled into another crisis. Adding to the overcrowding concerns, a federal judge in Florida dealt the Biden administration a blow just as Title 42 was expiring, ruling against something called expedited release from holding facilities for migrants who are dealt or who are deemed not to be a public risk. The Biden administration is expected to seek an emergency stay of that ruling.